what's up guys i am back with another video today and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to downgrade your a9 or a10 devices so that means iphone 6s iphone 7 all listed here in this video in this side and in the description so you can check the list that is compatible with this downgrade tool and yeah, it's a pretty straightforward tutorial i'll just get to the point cut to the chase you just need to paste in like two, three, four, or five commands and you'll be done in like, what, 10, 15 minutes. It's not that hard. And um, yeah, all you'll need is an is obviously a Mac. Windows won't work. You will need a Mac. So I recommend you use an Intel Mac or a Hackintosh, basically. Apple Silicon should work too, but I didn't test that yet. And the success rates or exploit rates are not that great on those devices i have uh, used an m1 macbook air before for my um, ios stuff and yeah that's it and also if you are using a usb-c macbook like i am with this 2017 macbook pro you will need a dongle or adapter for your iphone so i'm using this one this is a novo adapter i got for my birthday like what two years ago and you will also need to connect your iphone with a USB A to USB Lightning cable. So I'll plug this back into my MacBook. And here's the phone I'm going to be using for this video. So it is a 128 gigabyte iPhone 6S running out as 15.8.4 as of now. And I'm going to be downgrading this for you guys today and show you the simple process of um, yeah, just downgrading the phone. So Again, this should work on the iPhone 7s and iPad Pros and whatnot. I'll include these in the, to, into the description and as well as the requirements, timestamps and the terminal commands. And yeah, so let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is to download Turdus Merula, the downgrade tool and the IPSW you're going to be using. I already have them downloaded here in this folder. One second here the ipsw as well as the tour de smerula folder i'll link uh, the two sites for these tools or ipsw and tour de smerula into the description and yeah with that out of the way let's get started so the first step you'll need to do is to simply open up terminal and i'll exit out of the folder so it's easier for you guys and just type in CD and drag in the Tudus Merula folder you just downloaded from the website and hit enter. And now uh, type in slash user slash bin slash. There you go. And now enter the FE mode on your iPhone. This is very easy. So just hold down the power and home button on your iPhone for 10 seconds and then release the power button, but keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. So I'm going to be releasing it now. And just wait a few seconds for this to enter the FU. And I'm guessing it's already in the FU. So I'll set this here so you guys can see what I am doing. And I'll just type in dot slash bin slash tourdus rain there dash ed or minus ed. And there you go. And I'll just type in dot slash bin slash oops dot slash bin slash tourdus marula dash dash get shc block and now drag in the ipsw that uh, you just downloaded earlier so like this or one second there you go and just select one in this case and now wait for this to extract the ipsw this will take a minute or two this is normal There we go. So as you can see here, 
shc block dot bin save to block slash whatever and file list this it won't matter the well the name will matter but you don't have to memorize it so that's all good and now just re-enter uh dfe mode so by doing the previous steps i just told you to like how to enter dfe mode so now type in dot slash bin slash turdus merula there you go dash dash get pte block dash dash load shc block and just go back to the finder window go to turdus merula go to the, go to this one's uh, folder go to block and uh, I already have the PTE block, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave it there and not touch it. So drag in the SHC block into terminal and drag in the IPSW as well. And now select one again. There we go, the PTE block has been obtained. So now re-enter DFE mode again. There. And now this is the restore part. Type in dot slash bin slash turdus rain dash ed again. And now type dot slash bin slash turdus merula. Oh, oops. There we go. Dash o dash dash load dash pte block. And now drag in the pte block from the same directory again, as well as the ipsw following it like this. Just hit enter now. Select one, and now it should be doing the thing. So just wait for this to finish. And I forgot this, but type in yes here and hit enter. And now it should be doing the thing. And now it should be restoring. Don't let me down, don't let me down. Okay, so the restore is complete and in this section I'm going to be bypassing setup app. This is essential because iOS 9 doesn't like to activate on A9 chips for whatever reason that is. And for this you'll need legacy iOS kit or SSH script. Uh, I'm going to be using legacy iOS kit for this tutorial because it's easier to use and you'll also need Cyberduck. So just CD or I'll open up a new terminal window instead cd and cd legacy ios kit there we go dot slash restore.sh and i'll update this real quick there and we'll go to useful utilities ssh ram disk and now it's just going to be doing its thing entering the ssh ram disk until then we can prepare cyberduck so open up cyberduck and press on open connection and type in the following details. So select SFTP here, 127.0.0.1, 6414, root, and Alpine. I'll again include these into the description so you don't have to worry about anything or just not knowing or not being able to follow the tutorial and stuff. And we'll wait for this to open up the SSH connection in. Ah, oh, shit. And I'll try to connect. Yes, allow. And we'll go back to the terminal window. Connect to SSH. And we'll just copy paste this command. I'll include the command into the description. Don't worry. 
paste it, copy paste it. And uh, well, if you're on iOS 9 and go to slash, slash mount one applications, setup app, scroll down to see setup app. And now just rename it to whatever you want. You can rename this to anything. So I'll just rename this to setup dot back. There, so yes, change. And now go back to the terminal window, type in sync five times. This isn't re necessary, but it is, is recommended. So now type in reboot and the iPhone should reboot now. So the last step is to just go back to DFE mode once again for the last time. Well, to boot the iPhone, you need to do this every time you wanna tether boot the iPhone. And there we go, we're in DFU. And I'll exit here and go back to the Turdus window. And what you're gonna do is to type in dot slash bin slash Turdus rain. And you'll also have to type in dash ed. And now I'll just type in dot slash bin slash Turdus rain dash tp and drag in the PTE block into terminal. Oh, whoops. There we go. And also drag in the IPSW. Okay, so now it's gonna tether boot. So you just wait for this to finish. This shouldn't take more than approximately two minutes, I'd say. And if this uh, pop-up just comes up like checkmate and then it's stuck, I think it's only on A9 devices, but we'll see. Well, you can test. And I'll unplug the dongle from my Mac and replug it like so. And now it should work out. If it doesn't, just pull it out again. Yeah, I'll do that and plug it back in. Or try the iPhone. There you go. Unplug the iPhone directly. And now, there we go, it's finished. And you can basically unplug it from the Mac, so it's done here. I'll unplug it and wait for this to load. So this shouldn't take more than a minute or so, but I'll wait for this to load. There we go. We're on the iOS 9 lock screen because we bypassed setup app. And now we're just gonna unlock the phone, go to settings, and I'll I'll actually not connect the Wi-Fi yet. So I'll go to general, about, and there, as you can see, iOS 9.0, gigabytes. So this is the same iPhone and we just downgraded it. So to test SEP, I'm gonna add a fingerprint or just test it. I won't really add a fingerprint, but as you can see, it does work. And I'll also enter a passcode there, like this. And so passcode is on. And if I try to unlock it, so like this, it unlocks. So this was it for this video, guys, basically. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me and my goal right now is to reach 400 subscribers it would mean the world to me really and that's it if you need to go back to the tutorial this tutorial again to boot your iphone or something use the timestamps don't watch the entire video and then wait for the part that's why i include the timestamps anyways that was it for today's video guys and peace out until the next time peace